Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. It is currently Valentine's Day and I thought I would share with you guys and bring you along with me when I do my whole get ready with me routine, hair, makeup, nails, outfit, the whole nine yards. Um, Sam and I are going on a date tonight. I'm very excited about that. So, oh, it's so sunny, hold on. So I'm very excited about that. We're going to um, a nice Italian restaurant, and so, yeah, I'm excited. But um, I have no idea what I plan to do as far as like my outfit and hair and makeup and all that. So we went to breakfast with my sister-in-law this morning, and then Salvation Army was right across the street. How convenient. So you know I stopped in there. And so I only found one thing, but it was brand new tags, and I just thought it was so cute. Look how cute this little top is. It's kind of like this loose fitting, short little blouse. Oh yes, and Lucy got a clock. We'll show you that. Um, the cute little bow. I thought I could pair this with like my black Spanx full leather leggings or black jeans with my Gucci belt. I'm not sure. So I, this was an option. But I think right now I'm gonna take you guys inside and um, go through my closet and like try on some outfits because if you guys know getting ready with a baby is so hard and my son is very needy and so it's very difficult and I always have to wait until it's like nap time to get ready and he's sleeping right now of course it's 11 15 so he probably will take another nap around three so that's when I'll do like majority of getting ready but I at least want to like go try some outfits on right now to know for sure what I'm wearing later that'll save me time when I'm like really trying to get ready <laughs> oh let me see your shirt that is cute it's got heart on me. Mm hmm What did Daddy get us for Valentine's Day? Heart Get him on the fridge. You want one? Daddy left us a cute card. Well, not for you. That was for me. Just obnoxious card. <laughs> and some strawberries. Well, oh. Okay. Before we, um... Before we try on clothes, we might as well have a strawberry. All right, let's try it here. I already had one this morning. Okay, cheers. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Daddy. We love you. Thank you, Daddy. We love you. <laughs> These are so healthy. <laughs> mm. This is... This is healthy right inside. The strawberry? Yeah. No, inside. Oh, what what about the outside? The chocolate. Is that healthy? No. Okay, you guys. Um, I just had to heat up more coffee because I am running on E today. Oh my gosh. I need to wake up and pull it together. So, um, I'm going through my outfits right now. I'm trying to figure out something to wear tonight, but everything I just hate, right? Isn't that how it is? We just don't like anything we own. And that is why I stopped at Salvation Army today, um, because I didn't like anything. And I only got that one top. So, I don't know, I feel like this is really cute and feminine. But Sam hates anything flowy, and so this is quite flowy. Um... I feel like you can't even really tell what it looks like, but I feel like it would be really cute with some like black pants. Another option I have, um, I thought it was really cute, is this Express little romper. I thought this would be really cute with um, tights and booties. I thought that might be cute. Um, I also have this cute little Express sweater dress. I wore this when I was pregnant. It looked really cute with a bump because of the ruching right there, so I thought this could be really cute. And then from my Valentine's like date night try on haul, this little ruffle top is so cute with black pants. I think that's all. Okay, you guys, this is the first hat from Salvation Army and I'm obsessed and I don't want to try anything else on because how freaking perfect is this? I think it's so cute. I paired it with these Spanx faux leather leggings and some black booties and... 
I'm just like loving this outfit right now. Uh, I think it's very cute and flattering. Plus I can eat more and you won't be able to see it because it's like loose. But yeah, I, um, I really love this one. But I guess we will go ahead and try some other outfits anyway, just to see because who knows, I might like something else better. Okay, so this is that other top from Salvation Army that I tried on in my like Valentine's thrift haul. Um, I do love the tank top and I thought I would pair it with a leather jacket with the, the faux leather leggings, but I am not feeling this jacket. Let me take it off. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm not wearing the right bra. See, yeah, I feel like um, the jacket made it look weird. So, it's too cold here in Michigan to wear just a tank top, but I feel like on its own, it's so much prettier. Okay, so here's a romper outfit. It's adorable, but I hate it with tights. Like, absolutely hate it. Um, it does not do this romper justice without tights and like pumps, like for a summer little day night outfit, it's really cute, but with tights, no. I am kind of feeling straight hair today. I'm wondering if I should keep my hair straight for date night. Hmm. And like actually straighten it. Hmm. But this outfit is a no-go. All I keep thinking about is that pink outfit. Like I love that outfit. So I'm going to try one more thing on. One more thing. And then I know I'm going to pick the pink outfit. Okay, so now I really like this outfit too. Um, I did a plain black shirt and skirt and then added like a long gray fur coat over it. And I think this is really cute as well. Um, uh, I don't know. I feel like the pink though, it's like really stand out and like, I don't know. I feel like it, um, I don't know, did a little bit more for me, I guess. Like I feel like this would be cute any date night, but... The pink one for Valentine's Day, I think, is the winner. Okay, so it is 12 o'clock and Tommy is still napping. So I thought I would take this opportunity to go ahead and put on nails. So these are not the ones I usually use. I love the Impress ones that are just like literally like peel off and stick. But these ones are a little bit more fancier. They are pretty intense. So these ones I actually have to like put glue I believe so they're gonna take me a little bit of time so I'm just gonna go ahead and chill in my bed for a little bit and put these on hopefully I'll be able to put my kids in the car seat with these because they are very long but they are pretty so I wanted to save them for like a special occasion so perfect for today Hello. happy valentine's day happy valentine's day how are you good dad we bring chocolate strawberries and then we love you. Aww, I love you too. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Happy Valentine's Day! Say happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, oh. Tell me down. Okay, you guys, it's 3.15 and... Both kids are sleeping. I just got Tommy down like 10 minutes ago and I already know it's gonna be a really quick nap for him because he's already taken like two cat naps already today. So I need to hurry up. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my makeup. And this is not gonna be a tutorial. This is gonna be just like a chatty um, little get ready with me. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys um, like my little love story since it's Valentine's Day of like how Sam and I met and our little story. Okay, so Sam and I, we have been married five years. Um, we started dating six years ago because we were only dating, I want to say like six months or seven months before we got engaged. It was very fast. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love him. Um, okay, so it actually happened really funny the way we met. Um, Sam, oh, it's dark. Well, it's gonna match my body. Okay, so I was actually getting ready to move to Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I'm from Michigan, and that's where we live. And um, I just wanted to move. I wanted a reason to move, and so I decided to try to get into Nashville school Belmont if you know that school um, it's a private Christian University and um yeah I wanted to move I had nothing holding me back and so me and a girlfriend of mine decided to apply and we both got in 
and I seriously thought this was what God wanted for my life. Like, I don't know. I was just so excited and nobody wanted me going, like family and stuff, you know, they wanted me to stay. But I was, I was out of here. Like, are you kidding me? Get me to Nashville. So I paid my deposit, like I was going, I was going. Then um, my good friend, who was also my boss at the time, um, she started dating this guy online and they were a little couple and she's like, hey, he has a friend named Sam who is um, a real nice guy. He's cute. Um, you guys should, you know, uh, you guys should date. Or, you know, you guys should go out. And I was like, well, I'm moving in a couple months. Like, why would I? I'm going to move my hair up. Um, why would I date? Like, I'm leaving. I'm moving. She's like, just go out for drinks for him. So the picture she sends me of him, first of all, he's with his ex-girlfriend. Then he's like shirt unbuttoned, like almost like very metrosexual. I'm like, that is not my style. I like like rugged and country boy, you know, whatever. So I'm like, oh, okay, like whatever. I'll go on and we'll go get drinks. So I will never forget this. So <laughs> I want to say it was like, was it Memorial Day? labor day i think one of those days and she's like we're gonna go to this bar we're, i'm gonna pick you up we're going i'm like okay so she picks me up from my dad's house and we go to this bar and he come and we're we get out as they're getting out of their out of their truck and we're gonna meet at the door and i see him and he's wearing like work boots and like ripped jeans like total rugged and i'm like oh oh my god I'm like oh my god like oh my gosh like that's my style you are not what you look like in your picture it was like a glow up i'm like oh my god oh my gosh oh my gosh i was so nervous at that point because now he was actually like cute like he was actually like my style so then i was nervous so we sat across from each other, and I'm not kidding when I say I didn't talk. Like, I couldn't even look him in the eye, you guys. I was so nervous. Now I'm, like, getting flustered, and I'm not even focused on my makeup. Maybe this is a bad idea to talk about it. Okay, so I couldn't even talk. But then we were talking about, like, country music and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm moving to Nashville. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm going in, like, two months. I'm moving. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Probably like, why are you here then? Ay, 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 oh my gosh. So then we like went back to his house. Like he had he had a roommate um, and we played pool and I remember like spilling pop everywhere because I was so nervous and oh my God, I am a disaster. I'm like nervous talking about this. Okay, so we hung out like a couple more times casually I kissed him first. I was wild back in my day. <laughs> I knew what I wanted. So then, listen to this. This is where it gets crazy. From the time I met him, like the day I met him, I was going on a girl's trip to Nashville to visit my school, like two weeks from the time I met him. He booked a trip to Nashville with my friend and her boyfriend to come see me. Like what and I was like okay whatever secretly dying inside I was so excited but but kind of like hijack the girls trip right um so they come to Nashville and they got their own hotel and all that but um but that's when I knew that I had completely 100% fallen in love with them <laughs> you guys we only knew each other like two weeks and never in my life have I loved a guy ever I never really dated I should have prefaced it with that. I never dated, ever. Like I had like one stupid little boyfriend in high school, ew, um, and that was it. I mean, I like always had little flings with guys and stuff, but never a serious relationship ever. And so I never like knew I loved, I never like, I never loved anyone. So for me to like feel like I had fallen in love with somebody like hard after two weeks of knowing him. <laughs> it was very special. 
So to say we like hit it off and went from zero to 100 real quick is an understatement. Like seriously, like ready to get married, like seriously ready to marry the guy. Um, so yeah, we, that was crazy. That was crazy. Um, so this is my ring story. Oh my gosh. So, okay, I gotta keep getting ready. I'm just getting so happy. Okay, okay, so his mom works for Kroger's, which is a grocery store, and they own Fred Meyer Jeweler. Kroger's, by where Sam lived, they opened up a Fred Meyer Jeweler inside of the Kroger, so there was a huge, like, half-off sale. So we were like, we should go look at rings. Now, you guys, we had only been dating, like, maybe, like, five, six months. It was, like, soon, but we knew we wanted to get married. And so he's like, all right, let's let's go look for rings. Well, his mom gets like an additional 25% off discount or something like that. So it was gonna be like 75% off a ring or something crazy. So his mom and dad at their church one day, we go ring shopping and <laughs> we um, were looking at these rings and I find this ring, the one I'm wearing, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the one. And I was like, me and his mom are like looking around the store without me knowing sam bought the ring like he was buying the ring with another sales lady like i had no clue okay so we're like getting ready to go or whatever and the sales lady says to me congratulations or like something like that she gave it away that sam had just bought the ring why would you do that? So I'm like, what? What? Oh my God, wait, what? Like, are you gonna post me right now? Like, I didn't know if he was about to get down on one knee, if he's about to do it in the parking lot. Like, what's happening? And Sam was like, oh my God, you dumb idiot. Like, who does that? Like, without knowing what someone's plan is, you really, she's dumb. She should have been fired. I should have complained. But at the same time, it was so exciting because I knew he had bought my ring that I wanted. I knew he was going to marry me. Like, it was just like, I don't know. It's very exciting. But that boy made me wait. <laughs> so anytime, so anytime that like we went out to dinner, I would have my nails done, like perfect done up because I thought he was going to propose me at any minute. Well, no, he made me wait for that ring for a little bit of time. <sighs> so then it was Easter. Are you guys so bored of my story? I'm, now I feel like I'm going on and on and on. So then on Easter, like a month or two later or something like that, he, um, <laughs> we were going to my aunt's house and it was like so nice out that day, like so beautiful. And he's like, let's go on a walk at Stony Creek, which is a park by us. And I'm like, babe, we got to go to my aunt's house. Like, I don't want to be late. And he's like, we have time. We have time. When we were driving there, it was like, oh my God, he's going to propose me. Like, I could feel his anxiety. Like, I knew it was going to happen. And so then I'm nervous. And then we're walking. And of course, he's walking by the water, like, <laughs> like down by the water, beautiful little scenic. I'm like, Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm nervous, he's nervous. We're not talking, it's so awkward. <laughs> so then we get by the water and I'm laughing. Like I'm literally buried in his chest, like cracking up because I'm like, he's about to propose to me and I couldn't pull it together. So I'm cracking up and then he's laughing. He's like, why are you laughing? I'm like, I don't know. Okay, it probably sounds like, wow, that sounds horrible. But it was like so us and just so perfect. So then we're like walking a little bit. And no, my gosh, no, I'm going to totally blank out what he said to me. No, okay. He said, how much you love me? And I'm like, um, a lot. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, enough to love me the rest of your life. And I'm like, <gasps> and I'm like, what? And then he got down one knee and I'm bawling and drop that it was perfect Sam I love you so much it was like seriously perfect because it was like it was just us you know it was very I don't know it was very us and it was perfect hmm. oh man love and then we planned a wedding so he proposed to me let's say April 
in April and we were married in October of that year. Like six, what is it? April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Six months later, we were married and it was a full on big wedding. You do not need a year or two years to plan a wedding, nope. So I'll go ahead and insert right now like some pictures of our wedding, it was so beautiful. So here's our wedding stuff. to pour myself a glass of wine and got in my outfit super cute and i'm gonna go ahead and just straighten my hair i'm like at the point where i'm like over getting ready so the kids are in lucy's room playing so we'll probably have some visitors in here but i'm gonna go ahead and just straighten my hair really fast and then the only thing i don't have is lipstick on so i need that hair and makeup is done turn out very pretty um yeah so i'm happy with that and then you guys already saw the outfit let me share it with you again ah, don't mind the mess but here is the outfit i love this look i'm really excited sam has not seen me yet um, Sam is not a camera guy at all or like social media person so he is not like want to be on camera or shown too much. I told him hey if I become famous one day on YouTube we are going to be a little vlogging family so you better get used to it. So <laughs> I will try and get him on camera but yeah this is the final look and everything worked out the kids were very um easy today i got to get ready while they napped and then um sam came home early today so he was able to help as well so yeah here is the final look wow <laughs> come back out here hot stuff <laughs> All right, do a spin. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Happy Valentine's, honey. <laughs> Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. Who are these for? Who are those for? And what do you say for them for watching you tonight? Hey. Here you go. <laughs> yep, and you say, thank you so much for babysitting me. Okay, baby, are you excited for this night out? <laughs> Thrill. Okay, tell me, what is your favorite thing about me? <laughs> uh. Spirit. You couldn't even <laughs> say it on the street face. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. Everything. It's all great. Oh all my. Great. Even when I snap at you? Yeah, Krabby Crocs. <laughs> okay, I told them earlier when I was getting ready, I told them the story of how us uh, meeting and Nashville and engagement and the whole nine yards. So. What was the first thing about me that you realized? What was when you first realized you loved me? Now let's see if it matches mine. Probably when I loved you. Like.
like when you're like, wow, I love her. I think I love her. She's the one. Probably when I was on my way home and you were home or someone else. Like, and you realize you like, love me. Split up. Ah, that's so sweet. That's all the footage you're getting. That's it? Okay, we'll have to get a picture later. What do you think about that? <laughs> And now our night is complete, yay! Say happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Sam, where are you? <laughs> What's Daddy doing? <laughs> Get him out. Good night. <laughs> All right. Say good night. Good night. We've been walking down this road for some time. And you love and you love me.